Here are three things I liked about season one of Free Run Beyond Journey's End. Number one, main character. One of the most appealing aspects of the series is the portrayal of the main character, the elven mage Free Run. She has many sides to her personality, including her amazing powers and fighting abilities, but she also is a procrastinator and often sleeps in late, as seen when her adopted assistant Fern has to take care of her. Free Run is able to live many years, so her sense of time is different than those around her. Her melancholy and unfazed attitude is both calming and amusing, as she and her new team of comrades face different challenges. Number two, time. A wistful aspect of the series is how time passes by quickly, even if Free Run only experienced it as a fraction of her long life. We see other human characters around her continue to age and die, and we see Fern start as a child and later becoming an adult, continuing to travel by Free Run's side. The passage of time is a key element in the series, making us reflect on what is most important in navigating our own lives. Number three, action scenes. Since the series takes place in a time after the great antagonist of the Demon King has been defeated, the episodes often have a calm, slice of life feel to them. When action scenes ensue, they act as a strong punctuation mark to the story beats preceding it. The animators handle the action scenes with care, showcasing how there are still considerable dangers in this post-war world. Thanks for watching this video, and please let me know if you have any suggestions for other movies, series, and games to analyze. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think about this series.